So what are my, what are our thoughts really on the Still Hexa Chain? We got the pack, the upgrade pack uh, from Still, they provided it to me. So big thanks to Still for sending that out to me. A few questions that I had initially were basically, you know, we're, we're hand filing chains and how is the Hexa going to be an improvement? Is it for us? What are the benefits? We used two chains on the MS-462 with a 25 inch bar. So primarily you're running through larger timber, it's not small uh, type stuff. So it was, it, you know, it, the 462 is a forestry saw, you know, it was mainly made for big timber. So that's the type of stuff we was using it on. Now I normally leave price till the end um, because that's kind of like just it costs this much but I think it's quite important looking at the hexa chain as to how much it costs. I got these prices from very, I got prices from various places within the UK. Um, one of our local suppliers, um, Skyland, this is where I got the, the prices from for this, but it's, as a rule, it's pretty much the same everywhere else within the UK. The actual hexa chain is £41.35. That includes VAT, that's for the 25 inch. Whereas a normal chain is £31.11, including VAT. So, you know, around five, you know, five, six pound difference. So it's, it's not the end of the world. However, when you look at the files, a normal file will cost you one pound 30, including VAT for one. Whereas the hexa file is 10 pound 25, including VAT. So that's a massive difference. And when you look at how long the file actually lasts, um, that is significant for me. I think the amount of times that we lose files or we just, you know, throw them in the van or lose them on site, forget them, you know, that, that file's gonna cost you a tenner. So that's that's a lot for me. That's something to really bear in mind. I think when it comes to getting a kit, the kit costs £82.50, including that. So you're getting two chains, a file and a handle. So over the life of the chain and the file, it's better to buy a pack. It's better to buy the upgrade kit every time. And you're obviously getting a new file handle there every time as well. So for me, that's, that's the, probably the best way to go if you're gonna go down the, the hexa route. If you've seen the first look video that I did, our initial Im like impression of the hex chain was, was really good. It was it picked up really quick. Um, it definitely cut a lot faster than your normal stock chain out, out of the box. It didn't throw massive chips though. Weren't, I was expecting it to, to chuck out a lot more sawdust than it did. But then once we've sharpened it the first time, um, we got it to a point where it was. I felt it was cutting really well. The type of tree work that we do or that, that I've been doing with with the uh, chainsaw has primarily been um, UK site clearance work, um, high end domestics and a kind of local authority stuff. We're not felling all day. We are not. We're not using the four six two that we had. We weren't using that all day flying through tanks of fuel. It was a case of maybe using a few cuts, maybe just snedding and logging up at the end. Um, in quite dirty scenarios and around like bricks and all that sort of thing, you know, plastic cans, litter and all that can, uh, kind of jazz. I think for that situation, I think the Hexa is, is probably not the best choice. I think you're better with a, a round file, to be honest, a, round, a normal chain. Because what we found was when we hit something with the Hexa, it was quite difficult to get it. We had to take a lot off the chain to get it back to where it was. Whereas a round file, you can kind of manipulate the the tooth to get it to where you want it to be. So if you are primarily felling and you're doing a lot of logging, um, you're following a lot of trees throughout the day, then I think hex is great because it, it doesn't take a lot to get the edge back on it if it's not super dull. So if you're you're doing a couple of tanks, you've been felling all morning, you know, you give it a couple bit of a tickle and it, it'll, it'll be fantastic again. Whereas if you're on a site clearance like what we, we were and hitting bricks and things and it's probably not the best because you, you're really battering that chain and um, it's going to take a lot to bring it back. The file should last the life of both of the chains in the pack. I didn't find that the case. It's a hexagonal shape and at the top it's flat and at the bottom it's flat and that's the bit that sits on obviously the bottom of the chain. Now you can only use two sides to sharpen each tooth so when you're sharpening the saw on one side it's cut in using two sides of the file and then you swap the file over and then it uses the other two sides. So there's no way of orientating it or alternating it. Um, you, you've just literally got those two sides, so the, the two top sides aren't being used. In terms of sharpening, it's there's two ends of the spectrum really for me. 
if you're an experienced you know logger or chainsaw user and you're used to using a round file and you've got good at you know that is an art using a, a, a chainsaw file to sharpen a chainsaw chain is definitely an art and it takes a good while to get to a point where you're ha where generally you and the rest of the crew is happy with how you sharpen a saw if you're at that point then you're going to find it strange going to a hexafile because you cannot really manipulate how you're going to cut that edge uh, whether you want more gullet or you want it deeper or like a, a, a more pointier edge should we say it's literally you put it in to the gullet you, you get the file in and that's it there's no kind of manipulation of it it's just it slots into that groove it's like a almost like a c-shape the file sits in really nice and then off you go so like i said the other two spectrums the other end is if you're new into it you can easily get a very sharp edge by just throwing the file in and off you go i think if you're going to compare a normal steel chain to the hexa chain um, the hexa it needs less sharpening it's a lot faster cutting it picks up a lot quicker it doesn't dull as easy as long as you're not hitting severe stuff or you know really grounding the saw potentially it's easier for beginners and for small crews it's a great package if you buy the kit option and you just upgrade each time bit by getting the two chains it does take a bit of practice if you're used to a round file because it's just so alien and you've never used one like for the last five or six years i've never even touched anything other than a round file so that's a bit bit of a learning curve there but on the same hand it's exciting you get to try something new and you actually know what you're looking at when you're cutting through something so in comparison a normal chain it is easy to sharpen when it's super dull when you hit something and you know that you really took a big chunk out with a normal chain and round file it's a lot easier to sharpen the files are a lot cheaper and the chains are cheaper as well it, well even if it is five or six quid so to summarize for me after using two chains uh, on the 462 using them for the life you know they, they've been great chains I'm a, a big fan I think if you're doing forestry and felling constantly then I think that's definitely the way to go um, stepping away from maybe the using a round file I think you're gonna get a lot more benefit going to a, a hexa or square file square ground and ultimately if you are going to use hexa don't lose the files because the tank would eat you <laughs> so if you're going to get a few of the files you need to make sure you're looking after them um, because they are expensive I'd just like to say a massive thank you to Still UK for sending me this upgrade pack to try on the uh, like I said on the 462 it's it's been great I've really enjoyed it and I think a lot of the lads have it's been something new to try and it's definitely positive in that that still is getting on board with kind of this new surge of people trying to get into uh, square grain filing um, it's a good entry point where you can go into a shop in the UK now and just buy a, a kit an upgrade kit for your saw so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments if you if you're doing anything other than round filing or if you enjoy doing the, the square ground or you've used the hexa let me know your opinions there's probably been like I don't know six or seven lads that I've been working with um, that have used it and I've got their opinions and I'm kind of giving you that today so thanks for watching hope you enjoy the video make sure you subscribe like and like I said leave a comment I'll see you in the next one